Colin, I'll start here. How happy are you for Coach Buckner? Uh, I'm real happy. Uh, it was his first win, and um, it's pretty much yeah. It's just it was his first win. My fault. It was his first win, and um, it's pretty much um, it was good. It was a good one for us as a team. Just show that we can bounce back. Uh, from the last Chicago game where they pretty much got out on us and got a really good start. So it just shows that we can, we can, we can play like that and we can move in the right direction and we just got to do it consistently and on a nightly basis. You guys have the last couple of games been very frustrated and confused by the lack of energy and defense in the first and third quarters. You won those quarters um, scoring 30 or more points and defense looked uh, pretty good as well. What was the difference for you guys and what finally shifted for you guys tonight? Um, I would say just just the start. That's it. At the end of the day, it was the start. And then um, we was all moving on a string tonight. We was helping each other and giving up ourselves uh, on the offensive end as well, like making a cut or even just making that extra pass, um, make, giving up a good pass for a better one. So it was doing the little things like that and just helping Jay and helping um, K-Love on the – on the boards and just boxing our man out so that they can get the rebounds. Um, at the end of the day, we all got to help one another. And it's, it's just like, um, like having your teammates back no matter what. And I know that everyone has a role on this team in order for the big scheme to work, but you were pretty efficient tonight, 11 for 17 um, from the field, seven assists, 30 points. For you, um, what did you want your impact to be tonight? Um, just pretty much just take what's given. Um, take what's given and, and do the little things. If the defense is um, steps up, then dump off. If the if the defense stays back, f- floater or get a um, or make get a foul. So just pretty much doing the little things and just reading the game and um, letting it slow down. I watched the game um, the other day when we played the Bulls from start to finish um, the entire game. So it just pretty much was allowing me to read and recognize what. Um, what they're going to do on defense. They didn't make too many adjustments besides like top blocking me. But other than that, it was pretty much the same game, just a different day. Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Colin. What's up? What's up? Hey, man, what were the last 48-ish hours like for you guys after the the game against Detroit? Um, Was there a team meeting, players only meeting, anything along those lines to regroup for this one? Um, not at all. We knew what we had to do tonight. We didn't need to. We don't need to, need to talk about it. We all know what we need. Um, that's just the start. That's just that's just what it is. Like you continue to talk about it. Uh, what is it going to do? It's not going to change anything. You got to go out there and um, let your actions um, speak, and just go out there and hoop. At, like us saying, "Yeah, we got to do better here." I'm like, okay. Yeah, you can easily say it, but as long as you don't, as long as you don't do it, so that's it. You, you said after the Detroit game that, you know, you guys talked a good game, but you didn't back it up. What does it mean to you on a night like tonight where you know how bad you needed this one, that you did go out and you backed it up from the very beginning, start to finish? Uh, it just shows that we can do it. I, and we can do it for a full 48 minutes, and I got confidence in myself and my teammates that we can, and we just got to go do it. Like, we got to, like, like I said, you got to back it up. That's it. Got to back it up. You can't, you can't just talk a good game without backing it up. You got to be able to talk to talk and walk to walk. That's it. And what's the key for you and Darius to play like this together on a, a, a nightly basis? Just pretty much just going out there and just being, being confident uh, and taking what the defense gives them. Don't rush anything. Just, just continue to play free. We're playing free and having fun. And then when you're having fun, everything else uh, works out works out in itself. And you feel better and you play better. And um, usually we come up victorious. Thank you. Welcome. Kelsey. Uh, Kelsey Russo of The Athletic. Hey, Colin. Um, when you when you have a night where you back it up, like you just said, um, how did how helpful is that? You know, showing that you can do it moving forward through this last stretch and kind of as you continue to build, knowing that you do have a basis and you've seen that potential versus you know just talking about it and wanting to get there. Um, I I don't know. Um, I would say just going and executing it, like at the end of the day, like 
we all we watch film, no matter how much film you're watching and uh, how many meetings we have, uh, how much coach screams and yell at us, it's, it's us out there. And we have to be the ones to do it. And we have to do it consistently. Because you can do it for, uh, say for instance, a quarter. Um, yeah, you might win that quarter, but it's three other quarters that you gotta go get um, in order to win the game. And then Darius became the fastest um, player in Cavs history to reach 200 made threes. Just this season, what have you seen in his growth and his confidence um, from the perimeter and just to take those shots and to find those shots for himself? Uh, I've seen the big growth because we all know what Darius does. We know he can knock it down um, at any time and create a shot um, no matter what. So um, just continue to see him grow and it, it feels good to, to watch him um, go out there and just hoop and, and just play his game and play free. And that, I feel like when he's playing free, he can get any shot he wants and, and pretty much do whatever he wants out there. So uh, when it's like that, he's going to continue to get better. Um, no matter like the amount of games uh, you play, you continue to get better. Things start slowing down um, a lot a lot more. So, hey, Ashley. Ashley Bastock, Akron Beacon Journal. Colin, after the Detroit game, you know, JB said a lot of the same things that you said. He was obviously really disappointed with how that turned out. But so I guess knowing that he wasn't going to be there tonight for you guys as players, did that create this extra sense of urgency to get a win, you know, even under more adverse circumstances without your head coach? Absolutely. Um, we had that in the back of our mind um, just because we knew we needed this one for coach as well because we knew how much he wanted to to be coaching us. They said he, he was upset a little bit when they found out he wasn't going to be able to. So we pretty much came together and we knew like, all right, let's go get this one for coach as well as uh, coach Buck. So we got two, uh, we got two people we got to go win this for and then go get it for ourselves because we need it. So um, tonight we just continue to buckle down and uh, we did that. And then just another question on you and Darius, looking at your guys' offensive stats and the splits, like this month, you guys are having, you know, the best month, I think, so far of the season, both of you. So just have the last few weeks, like, felt differently compared to maybe the earlier parts of the season? And what do you think you guys are doing well as a tandem? Um, well, I don't think we're doing anything different, pretty much. Um, me and Darius will continue to work out together, continue to get shots up together and um, we've been watching a lot of film and stuff. So I would say just continue to do that and just continue to stay on top of it. And um, I don't I don't know what the difference is from now from now to the beginning of the season, but I feel like we're just starting to pretty much settle in and just relax and just play free. So we got to continue to continue to grow. We got a long ways to go. We're not where we want to be. So we know that and that's how we work out each and every day. And that's why we prepare for the game. Chris Doss, last one. Hello, Colin. Chris Ostales from Greece. Congratulations on the win, first of all. I'd like to ask you, how needed was that win, mentally-wise? Uh, wait, say it again. It broke up. How, how needed was that win for you, mentally-wise? Um, it was much needed. It was definitely much needed. Just the simple fact that um, we get so close to winning so many games and we can't get over the hump. So it just made us, like, just just a sigh of relief because like, all right, this is one and, and let's look forward to um, to the next one. So it just pretty much just one that I felt like we needed and just uh, one that just allowed us to get back on track. And did you notice that game as one of the most completed efforts of the season for you? And how important is to maintain that until the end of the season? Um, just, just continue to, just continue to stay locked in at the end of the day, just continue to stay locked in and continue to create, uh, advantages, not only for myself, but uh, for my teammates. So I was, and that's, that's just pretty much just watching film and that's it. How much did you guys need this one tonight? Very bad. Uh, like I said, any win is, I mean, any game is a must win for us. Uh, just try to come out and compete, uh, play together. And I mean, tonight it showed we played all 48 minutes. Um, we definitely had like a little stretch in the fourth quarter where we got out of hand and got out of sync, but I mean, we just finished the game off. I mean, that's what I was going to ask you. You talked the other night about how you guys need to play a 48 minute game. Does this qualify in your eyes? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we got on, on them real quick in the first quarter. 
um, and just kept that energy, kept that aggressiveness throughout the whole entire game. And uh, this what this what it is. I mean, <laughs> it's what happens when we play 48 minutes, play together, play our brand of basketball. What was different for you guys at the start of the game? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Just having that energy, uh, then having that sense of urgency, knowing that we had a payback game, we had to, we had to get some little payback from the other game in Chicago the other, the other day. Um, just come out with that fire. Uh, we knew that we had to get our payback, and I think that's what lit a little fire under our butt and just got us going. Thank you, Kelsey. Kelsey Russo, the Athletic. Um, Darius, you, you became the fastest player in Cavs history um, to make 200 threes. What has changed for you, I guess, this season? Um, and just your growth, I guess, from in your shot and your confidence in your, in your shot from the perimeter. Um, my coaches, they've been on me a lot. Uh, teammates telling me to shoot the ball when I'm open. And then uh, just trusting my work. Uh, I put in the work every day. And um, it's just a matter of me just, just shooting the ball when I'm open. Uh, like I said, I put in the work all the time and just having that confidence in myself that I can do it and make these shots. Is there like a number of shots you've been putting up in practice kind of on a daily basis, like a number you're trying to hit or you've been trying to hit, I guess? No, um, I'm just getting my routine down. That I do every day and um, just sticking with that. And then um, I know it's one game, but like you talked about, this was the full 48. So how does this show you just what you guys can look like as you go through this last stretch of the season um, and just the potential when you do put together a full 48 minutes? Um, I mean, it just shows our growth from early on in the year into now. Um, when we just put 48 minutes together, we're a totally different team. Um, everybody's aggressive, everybody's in sync. Um, and that's on both ends of the ball. Uh, we definitely started all of our our runs on the defensive end, just to get in transition, get open looks. So, I mean, I mean, it just shows everything that we've been putting through. I mean, that we've been going through. Um, and I think tonight, all the stuff that we've been saying to you guys and all the stuff Coach been saying, I think it really showed tonight. Thank you. Who? Ashley, sorry. Ashley Bastock, Akron Beacon Journal. Darius, I know the other night after that loss, you talked about the importance to not just energy, but doing those little things well and executing on those. I guess, how happy were you with that from the jump that, that you guys did as a team? Um, everybody was really, really excited for all the little things that we did, uh, especially on the defensive end. Uh, they really killed us in our last game that we played them with the little two picks, the two, uh, two high pick and rolls. And I mean, I think we really executed that tonight. We really game plan and locked in on them too. Uh, and I think that was just, that was one of the little things, literally. I mean, we worked on it all of today, all of yesterday and came out and executed it well tonight. And then looking at the stats for you and Colin for the season, like your guys splits this month, I think offensively are the best that they've been this season for both of you. So I guess just what does it feel like to be out there with him right now on a night to night basis when you guys are playing as efficiently as you are on the offensive end? I mean, it's really fun to play with Colin. Uh, that's my guy. Uh, he's grown to a brother um, just over two years. So it's cool just being out there with him and um, just seeing all the stuff that he can do with the ball and even without the ball. Uh, I mean, he's going to go get it regardless. So anytime we need a bucket, we're going to go to him. And um, like I said, he's going to play hard for 48 minutes. He's going to do what he do. And uh, I'm just happy to share the flow with him and the rest of my teammates. Christos, go ahead. Hello, Darius. Chris Stiles from Greece. Congratulations on the win the performance as well. I would like to ask you, is it sign of growth for your team the way that you respond after a tough three, three straight games tonight? 
Um, it was just, I mean, you just see the growth on the defensive end. Um, like I said, with the two picks that they've been killing us with the last game, uh, we just came in and locked in on it tonight and just tried to defeat everything that they had planned on, on their offensive end. And then, I mean, that just got us easy buckets. Got us out of transition, get easy layups or easy wide open threes. And also, what kind of statement for your team was that win, and especially the way that you won tonight? What was the statement? What kind of, yes, what kind of statement for your team was that win? Um, I mean, it was just another win, really. Uh, I mean, it was a must win for us. Like I said, every game is a must win, but I mean, it was a payback game. Uh, we played them a couple of days ago. They got the best of us, and uh, we were really able to show them that we play, we can play a lot better. Oh, yeah. What time is it over there in Greece? Uh, the time now is also is almost uh, five five a.m. Greece time. Are you, are you waking up or have you not gone to bed? No, I felt I'm I'm asleep. I'm sleepless. I watched it again. Oh, geez. All right, Chris, make these last ones quick. Christos needs to go to bed. All right, sounds good. Darius, you talked about how all of your teammates and coaches are encouraging you to shoot more. Do you think you need to shoot more? I'm here winning basketball game. Uh, it means I need to shoot more. I'm going to do it. Uh, like I said, I don't need to win. If I'm open, I'm going to shoot it, though. <laughs> but... <laughs> Team is involved in uh, win games. It's, it's not about me. And then, what was that celebration like in the locker room with Coach Buck? It was a good one. You gotta ask. You gotta ask him about that one. He would tell you a lot about it. We, we did. He said he needed a new change of clothes. Yeah, <laughs> he needed a new change of clothes. We need some new carpet too. <laughs> <laughs>